Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill rack daily challenge using Python programming language. Let's understand our question. The program must accept two strings S1 and S2 as our input. Note that the two strings are case sensitive and an integer x. The program must print yes if s1 can be formed by using the alphabets of s2 for x times. Else the program must print no. Now let us check with the test cases. Checking for first test case. Here s1 is a laptop and s2 is this and x is 2. Now you have to check whether laptop can be formed twice in this second string s2 now let's check l l in s1 have to occur two times in s2 and we are replacing capital l clearing it and second time capital l clearing it now the next letter a a should occur two times a and here a so clearing it next p p here and p t t occurs two times here o o occurs two times here and at last p p also occurs two times here so finally the output will be yes because laptop occurs two times in s2 so yes will be our output Now let's check for another test case, continent. Checking for this test case, continent, which occurs only one time in S2 or not. Repasting it. C occurs one time here and in S2 also C occurs one time. So clearing it, O, here also O, next to N. And here also n occurs one time, t and t here, capital I, here I does not occur in S2. So the program must print no as our output. Now let us implement our logic in python for today's dc. We are going to get s1 and s2 as a string input and an integer x as input. Now we have to use a for loop for iterating the characters in s1 for ch in s1. We are going to assign a variable called count equal to s2 dot count of ch which counts the number of occurrence of ch in s2. Now let's pass our condition. If count is greater than or equal to x which means the character in S1 which can be formed for X times in CH means you have to replace it S2 equal to S2 dot replace replace character with an empty space for X times else we have to print no as there is no characters in S2 for x times. Now we are going to break this for loop. Break. Now we are going to add an else statement for this for loop. This else statement runs only if the break statement is not executed. Else the program must print yes. Now let's execute our program. Checking for our first test case. The program prints yes. 
because laptop can be formed two times in S2. Now checking for our second test case. The program prints no because uh, I is not found in S2. Now let's check for our third test case. The program prints yes because S1 can be occurred three times in S2. So the program prints yes as our output. Hope you guys understand this code. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video.